Hello, I'm Sam from Just Says. The focus of my channel is to share and educate on how to buy less, buy better. A philosophy I've adopted in recent years that helps me to be selective in what I buy. These things are typically crafted thoughtfully by artisans who love what they create. These things often take a higher initial investment, but if chosen correctly, can be repaired and maintained forever. Hence, buy less, buy better. Getting something to fit right is something that we're always searching for. From an OCBD to a simple pair of jeans, sometimes finding something that fits is impossible. But what about our feet and footwear? Many of us know that a comfortable pair of shoes is essential to our days. But how much effort do we go through to find a perfect fitting shoe? I mean, have you ever gone into a shoe company's store and tried on a range of their different lasts and a range of different fits and sizes and widths and lengths to find out what works best for your foot? I'd wager probably not. And if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, like I do, it's near impossible to do so. So what do we do? How do we find the perfect shoe? Today, we discuss what might just be the solution to the problem. Wayman Bespoke. Before we jump into the process of ordering and what I ordered, I wanted to first explain what Wayman Bespoke offer. Wayman Bespoke is a remote bespoke company owned and managed by Simon out of Germany with shoes that are made in China. They have a simple mission, I quote, striving to create an accessible and transparent experience for remotely commissioning hand welted bespoke shoes online. And they're proud that they make their shoes in China and want to encourage recognition of the high quality craftsmanship coming out of China. Put simply, they offer insanely good value, insanely high quality shoes, but they also make a completely custom last to your foot with the goal to create a perfect fit or as near as you can possibly be. Clearly the idea of being remote bespoke is immediately questionable. I mean, how can you get the perfect fit without meeting me, measuring my foot, and I guess getting to know the intricacies of what my foot looks like? But with the last two years and much less access to the very few trunk shows that we did have in Melbourne, I started to wonder about what the future of bespoke shoes looks like and how good a shoe can fit when done remotely. So let's get into the spec of what I ordered and then what happened from there. So I first wanted to go over what I actually ordered. I wanted something that was very simple, very elegant, a shoe that was accessible to all men, whatever, you know, purpose you may have for an Oxford. So I got a Balmoral Oxford with a straight cap toe brogue detail. There was no medallion. I'm a new customer, which means that I was charged 230 euros to create the last from scratch. And that also includes a pair of fitting shoes. The toe shape that I chose was called Modern Round. I chose their standard construction method, which is 10 stitches per inch and hand welted, which is you know, far and away the highest that I've ever had. So that's quite exciting anyway. The leather is dark brown full grain boxcar from Anane, which is a French tannery. For the sole, I went a single leather with a sharp fiddle bevel, which I wanted to color dark brown with the sole to be light brown. I'm very excited for that part. I also added my initials to each foot for 40 euros total. I added Triumph toe plates to help the beautiful soles last a little longer and finally got spring loaded lasted shoe trees for 160 euros, which Simon later upgraded to hinge ones at no additional cost, which I'm very much appreciative for and they are super nice now that I have them in the hand. The total cost was 1,240 euros, which is approximately 1,800 Australian dollars or thereabouts, which is yeah, extremely expensive. Simon also mentioned to me that it's actually subject to change with the global increase in costs at the moment, but isn't exactly sure what the new pricing will be. I mean, $2,000 for a fully bespoke shoe and you know, the one-off cost of a new last may seem like a lot, but when you're like me and looking at buying Crockett and Jones or Edward Green locally, you're easily spending between $1,000 and $2,000 just to get something that's, you know, quote unquote, off the rack or ready to wear. 
So, you know, to be spending near the same amount of value to get a fully customized last, it's a very interesting and alluring offer. And I think that's the point of this video is, can you get something that fits perfectly for, you know, a little more investment, at least in the first pair, but for roughly the same price as something that may be ready to wear? There's a lot of detail in what I've just read out, but this video is going to focus on the ordering and the measuring process up to the fitting shoe arrival. I don't want to focus on the details of the final shoe and that will be covered in the next video. Let's start off with the measuring process because before you can submit all the details that I showed you before, you actually need to measure your foot. Luckily, the measuring process is pretty easy. You get a file from the remote bespoke section of the website. I chose the international guide as I am international. It's basically just making the prints onto an A4 piece of paper. Then you hassle all your mates to see if you can borrow their printer. Eventually, one of them agrees to print out your stuff. Thank you, Crossboy. And you follow the guide on the page. Big key here is make sure the page is calibrated with the credit card section. I'll go through the steps quickly so you can see how easy it is. First thing you want to do is be standing, not sitting. And you're going to need someone else to help you get it correct. In this case, I asked my lovely wife to assist. Start by making sure your heel is on the back line with the inner side of your foot following the sideline. Now, get your helper to carefully trace around your foot as close to the foot as possible. Try to use a thin or sharp pencil or pen and get a very accurate trace. Now, while your foot is still on the page, you need to take measurements for A, B, C, and D. My recommendation is to start with A, which is the small toe joint on the outside and the big toe joint on the inside of your foot, basically the widest part of your toe area and make sure you write that down. Next, I'd advise doing measurement C, which is the middle of your arch, or the narrowest possible route around your foot, and finishing at the top of the foot where you can feel the little bump. Next, we go to D, and you take the tape from that same area where you found the bump on the top of your foot, and you run the rest of the tape awkwardly around the back of your heel and back up to the bump on the top of your foot. Now you can work out the position of B, which is equally between A and C, and I assume helps with how fast your foot tapers from the front to the arch. Now you can remove your foot, measure what you've just drawn according to the guide, and then you're done. Next, you upload that file when you're placing your order and Simon will review it and then uh, ask you any questions related to what you've done. Simon shot me a message not long after I submitted the document, with his comments and questions. Basically, he wanted me to check a few of the measurements just to triple, quadruple check that I'd done it right and asked if I had any typical fit issues with other shoes that I owned. After we'd agreed on all the details, the last was put into production. So at this point, I'd measured my feet, chosen my design and handed over my money. This was on the 29th of August, 2021. By September 18th, just 20 days later, I got a message from Simon with tracking details of the fitting shoe, which meant that my last had been made, which is incredibly quick for a fully custom last, I would have thought. In typical Australia post fashion, the shoes arrived a full 10 days later, but it was time to test them and provide my fitting feedback. Fit is the most important part of this entire exercise. So the fitting shoe is one of the most important parts, if not the most important part of this entire process. For example, if your measurements are off and then your fitting shoes are obviously going to feel off, you know, this is where you can make those adjustments to find the perfect fit. Luckily for me, my fitting shoes fit pretty well overall. But let's discuss what Simon asked for and what I responded. Firstly, Simon asked me for photos photos and a video of the following angles. Top down, ankles, lateral, medial side, flexing of the forefoot, pressing down on the vamp and the instep and heel. I actually ended up taking all the photos like he asked and then as well sending a narrated video with my feedback to you know, give him hands on examples of what exactly I was you know, experiencing. In Simon's fit feedback guide, he asked specifically for feedback on the following areas, instep, vamp, arch with top line, heel, and of course your general impressions. For me, the instep or how tight the lacing area was, was a bit tight. The vamp, which is across the forefront of the foot, was you know, also a bit tight, as these measurements are fairly closely linked. The arch fit was amazing, as was the width and the top line. The heel seemed to be sort of 
pitched a little too diagonally and dug into my heel. So I asked for that part to be made a little more vertical. Um, and my general impressions were that the fit was very good and I'm super excited to see the final pair. Once again, Simon and I discussed the feedback a bit and we agreed on what needed to be done before the final shoes were put into production. Fit is something that's so important to everything we wear and to me, especially shoes. We are constantly standing and we tend to invest so little into not only good quality shoes, but also comfortable and properly fitting shoes. My hope is that Wayman is the answer to my hopes without the tens of thousands of dollars charged by other bespoke companies. I, I get it, I'm not saying that's you know, too expensive. They have their reasons for charging that, but at a fraction of the cost, at only $2,000, can I get something that is, you know, a similar fitting or a very good fitting experience. So far for nearly 2000 Australian dollars, I'm very impressed with the level of service and expertise that both Simon and Wayman Bespoke have offered. And I'm very excited to share with you the next step next week and reveal these beautiful shoes to you all. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Links are in the description as always, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Cheers.